a Netherlands car manufacturer is has just solved all of our problems. Mm. Uh, they've developed an EV, you know, an electric vehicle, mm-hmm. with solar panels built right in. How cool is that? So it's a, a startup called Lightyear, and it's unveiled an electric car with five square meters. I don't know if that's five square miles, five square uh, inches. I, I don't know. I don't know. There's no way to tell. Uh, but they have five square meters of built-in solar panels, and therefore it doesn't need to be plugged in to charge. What does this car look like? It doesn't look that bad, actually. Did you, uh, send, you didn't I, send a picture? I, I forgot to send it in. Uh, in an optimum, I love this language, in an optimum situation, a range of 43 miles is achievable daily. Like every day, you could actually travel what? a full 43 miles. I can't get to work. I would not. <laughs> and it's before the sun comes up. What? Indeed. See, <laughs> it's not practical, it. man. The integration of solar panels directly into the car uh, and their and the car's chassis is something EV enthusiasts have been asking for from manufacturers for a long time. So here's the thing, though. Uh, on a solar charge, like you just, there it is. I mean, that's cool. It, it's it, kind of cool. It looking, doesn't right? look like a solar panel. It just right. looks like dark paint. Yeah. <laughs> so you can go on a charge from the solar charge. You haven't plugged it in. But you can, but you don't need to, because you're going to get a full 10 kilometers per hour. <laughs> Wait, I love that. That's a, that's the well speed? up to up to 43 kilometers. Wait. That is up to 40. So that's as fast as you can go. You can no, as fast as you can go. The top speed on this thing is 62 miles an hour. What? In- 62. I mean, that's my merging speed. Right. Come on. I know. Stop. So when you don't plug it in. It'll sit there and soak up that solar energy and propel you a full 10 miles. Every hour, it's not plugged in. Well, up to, again, 40 miles. So four hours and you, you're about maxed out. If you plug it in and charge it, at home, you'll get 32 kilometers. So that's not even miles. You're talking 32 kilometers is probably, there's no way to tell. It could be 7,000 miles or it could be a, an inch and a half. I don't know. This is, but let's assume 32 kilometers is about 20 miles. Let's say it's 20 miles from your home charging. You mean to find out for sure? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, do the calculation. So, Because this is amazing. I mean, they're, it's less than 20 miles. It's less? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> now, if you plug it into public charging, so at home it's not going to do as well as the public, the bigger, faster, stronger uh, charges that you'll get. Like when you go to a restaurant and you plug it in while it's sitting there parked, you get 200 kilometers. So that could be a million and a half miles, or it could be three inches. I'm going to guess, though, it's about 120, 130 miles. 124. 124. 124 miles on a public charge. Well, this would be practical for people like me who (sighs) just recently moved in here. Don't tell Glenn Beck. He's off at the ranch, so he doesn't Mm -hmm. know. Uh, I've just I've just moved in here to save gas. I just oh, have li- I live upstairs here. Oh, good. Um, I don't have to worry about a commute. Uh-huh. Uh huh. There's some nice restaurants around the corner here. It's working out nice. That's huh? great. Yeah, I mean that's how yeah. we're all gonna have to live anyhow. It is at some point real soon. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, it'll do 520 kilometers, so 360 miles maybe on a fast charge. Oh gosh. But the maximum range on this thing, it'll only go. Uh, it has enough capacity for 388 miles. Okay? 388 miles. But they say 43 miles doesn't seem like much when it just charges on its own. But the car is capable of more since its battery has enough capa- capacity for a 388-mile range. If your commute is short enough, you might not need to plug the car in for months at a time, according to Lightyear. If your commute is, yeah. Yeah. Again, if like if you live across the street from right. where you work. That's, that's the society they're trying to build. They're trying to get us back into the cities through this it's gonna kind be of fine. crap. Yeah, it's going to be fine at that point. Jeez. Oh. I mean, this is terrible. This is, I mean. This is ridiculous. The world that they are building. Not interested. Here's, though, if you consider this. What if you move to Mercury, where the sun is, I mean, right there, and you just park your car on the planet Mercury, and I'll bet you'd, I'll bet you'd charge that baby up pretty nicely at that point. 
You know, it's 800 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, and the sun's rays are always on that one side of Mercury. So uh, they don't have any atmosphere, so there's no clouds. If you live on Mercury, this would work pretty well for you. How long of a commute is that? Because uh, you know, Texas is closer to the sun than Mercury. Oh, that's They're true. They're actually backtracking. Now. Yeah, it's true. It's a little bit of a... a well, there's the... There we go. There's so, yeah. the solar system as so, we now know it. Yeah, so like uh, Mercury out of frame there, but mm-hmm. uh, it's out of frame. But it's about, about a distance. seventy million mile commute, so it's not that bad. You can get a not lot of uh, talk radio listening in. <laughs> yeah, good on, on that drive. You, you'd for sure get through a daily podcast. I would say. Yeah. Well, maybe this and on uh, double speed. You got to <laughs> you got to speed up the. <laughs> if you're gonna I squeeze mean, it all in. Why? Why even bother? We're just not there yet with this technology. And they've even done what we joke about. They put the solar panels directly on the car, and still it's not viable. They are going to make you absolutely miserable Yeah. in order to achieve their goals. They're not going to let it happen organically. They're not going to yeah. let us get there eventually and nope. phase in. They're like, screw you. John Kerry himself just said. Yes, we John the Kerry. Clip. Joe Biden says it every day. They don't care about the misery we're going through right no. now. No. They don't care. Couldn't care less about that misery. They're still sticking to jamming this down our throats.